hold that for a game time decision. Sure, we're mm-hmm. saying that now. We might they might announce it when the time we get off this thing. <laughs> but this could change. It will change the landscape if they win. Because my thing is, I do not think Tennessee is going to survive their next four games. No, because they have Alabama this week. Next week they have UTM. Yeah, they'll beat them. Uh, then Kentucky after that, and then number one ranked Georgia, November 5th. So, what I was saying in our fantasy football thing, in a way that this is the only way that you can knock Alabama and Georgia out of the playoffs. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, Tennessee would have to lose this game. Bear with me. The reason being is I will sacrifice Tennessee losing this game for them to beat Georgia. The reason being for that is because Georgia and Tennessee are both in the SEC East. If Tennessee holds the tiebreaker against Georgia in the SEC East, Georgia can't go to the championship game, which means they're not going to the playoffs because they can't go to the championship game. They're, they're not. True. Alabama's case, it really depends on how much faith you have in in uh, Lane Kiffin and Old Miss. Um. They, they still have to play Old Miss. Old mm-hmm. Miss is the number nine team in the country, and they're going to Old Miss. That's true. And then after Tennessee, they have Mississippi State. They're 16, depending on how you feel about them. And they got at LSU. LSU's nothing. So it depends on how much faith you have in Ole Miss. Let's say if Ole Miss beats Alabama, they run the table. They get into the SEC championship game from the West. That knocks both of them out. They're not going if they don't make the championship game. Mm. The thing is, this is college football. So all these teams are going to lose to someone who they're not supposed to, and this is all out the window, and Alabama and Georgia are going to get there anyway. But that's the way you'd lock both of them out. And also, for anyone who says that way, if we have an Ole Miss-Tennessee SEC championship game, Oklahoma State's still like undefeated, about to win the Big 12, USC or now yeah UCLA, if USC is undefeated, they win the Pac-12. If Clemson's undefeated and they win the ACC, and if Ohio State, Michigan, or Penn State wins the Big Ten, there's zero chance Alabama and Georgia are in. Because you'll take all those, you'll take three of the, you'll, the SEC champs getting in no matter what, and then you'll take, you'll make a choice between the three undefeated teams in the, of their conference champions. Man, I would love that if that happened. But it's hard for that to happen because. Everything has to go right. Everything has to go completely right, which it won't. It won't. Right. <laughs> but now it's one of those things like, well, Alabama survived their next four games at Tennessee, Mississippi State, LSU, at Old Miss. Definitely think they can beat LSU. Because here's the thing. If they lose to Tennessee, they just have to win out in, their S- in the SEC championship game with one mm-hmm. loss. That's it. And then they could just... So if they have one loss... And Georgia beats Tennessee. Georgia goes undefeated. Alabama beats Georgia. It's the same thing we've had the past couple of years. They're both getting in. Yep. Unless the other conference champions are undefeated. Then you have a whole conversation. Which yes. The likelihood of that is very slim. Because you can lose to somebody you're not supposed to lose. Mm-hmm. But for this game, if Bryce Young doesn't play, there is no Alabama's losing. I, I'm I'm gonna yeah they are losing if Bryce Young does not play this game, but these are the type of games where Saban reminds everyone why he's the goat. Mm-hmm. But it's time it's time for the upset. Hooker wins this. He is vaulted into the top three of the Heisman. That is just how it's worked the past ten something years. You beat Alabama, you're in the Heisman race. Hell, you win the Heisman almost. Yeah, that's what Johnny Manziel did. Johnny Manziel, Cam Newton, uh, Tim Tebow beat Alabama. Mm-hmm. Like, it's just a whole bunch of people. You beat Alabama, you get in the Heisman. But I'm doing it. I'm taking Tennessee. They're a seven-and-a-half-point underdog. 
Tennessee wins this game, rocks the college football world. They're going to be ranked number two if they win this game. They should be ranked number one. I, they won't. I know they're not going to. I know they're not going to put them above Georgia. Oh, they'll put them above us because we're going to be on the couch for sure. (laughs) Unless, but here's the thing too: Vanderbilt this week. If Michigan wins, both of them are going up. Alabama will not be in the top four if they lose this game, especially if Michigan wins. Yeah, so hypothetically, it could be Georgia, Tennessee, Mm -hmm. probably Michigan, and then us. Yeah, and then you have Clemson, undefeated. Yeah. And then USC. Undefeated, potentially. I'm doing it. I'm taking Tennessee. I'm taking Rocky Top. It's time. Let's get the... I'm taking Tennessee, too. 